Oh my God, yeah. Oh my God, Prince Sports. What up, guys? Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Prince Sports in the house. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. So, we are now to a level of extreme stupidity. Asinitis. Just because your favorite player don't got a leg to stand on in terms of being the greatest basketball player of all time, we have to go back into the past and downgrade other players just to prompt up today's players. Now, who are we trying to prompt, um, downgrade and prompt up? Well, it could be numerous players. But one in particular, the guy that's called Black Jesus, the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. Okay, so apparently Michael Jordan was immune or he don't get the right to develop as a basketball player, right? Name me one basketball player in NBA history that came into the league that was in his prime instantly when he came into the league that didn't have flaws. I wait. <laughs> Still waiting. Exactly. Nobody. Okay. Jordan had problems ball handling and going left in his early days, right? Key word, early days. Before he hit his prime. LeBron James was called Lee Brick and didn't develop a damn jump shot until 2012 efficiently. Most of his points came at attacking the basket, layups and dunks. He did this for 2003 to 2011. That man didn't have a solid jump shot. Didn't have a back to basket game. Couldn't post up. Had to go to the pass and get some tips from Hakeem Olajuwon. A guy that you claim is a, a bum. A plumber, right? I digress. Kobe Bryant came into the league off the bench, shooting air balls. Herky jerky, turnovers, not playing smart basketball. Did he develop to a great basketball player? I think you know what happened. So, we done with the excuses. Miss me with the nonsense. No, 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 no. Cut off the laugh track. Cut off the fucking music. Shaggy. Because all you're doing right now is making Jordan's case for being the greatest basketball player even more stronger. Like, is there a problem, my nigga? <laughs> you're literally telling me that Michael Jordan is so dominant of a basketball player because LeBron James can't catch this ghost that he even admit to catch. Kids at a skills camp yeah. that you are chasing the yeah. ghost of this guy who played in Chicago. Yeah. What did you mean? I meant in the simple fact that um, that's my personal inspiration. That's what drives me. And um, You want six rings? Are you chasing no, that specific? No, what that, are we talking about? Of course you want here? six rings. Stop the cat. That greatness, that how great that that ghost was. You know, everyone automatically kind of like, oh, he's trying to be, you know, He's talking down on MJ, trying to be better than MJ. What actually is he talking about? That's always been my goal since I got in the NBA. When I was 18 years old, I told everyone that my favorite player was Michael Jordan. Hopefully I can get He don't got more individual accolades than Michael Jordan. He don't got more team success than Michael Jordan. So what does LeBron James do or have in his arsenal to surpass Michael Jordan? The answer is zero. He got nothing. And I keep telling you, if he don't win on the latter end of his career because his game and his career has so much holes in it, it's like looking at a slice of Swiss cheese. He got too many losses, too many holes in that damn cheese. While Michael Jordan's career and dominance looks like a slice of cheddar cheese. And they have a little crack here and there, but it still looks way more better than that Swiss cheese that got all that holes in it. All right, drink the coffee and make you feel better. So, now that we're 
digging into the past and try to expose Michael Jordan, you realize that this man won with lesser talent than the guy that you're praising now. And he's a greater winner than the guy that you're praising now. He's a better leader than the guy that you're praising now. He's a better defensive player than the guy that you're praising now. He's a better scorer than the guy that you're praising now. He's a better leader. More masculine, more alpha. Pits his players in their, in their place and makes sure they get their ass on the court and do their job. And he wins. So what we have discovered now about Michael Jordan is something I didn't even know. And I watched his career. I just found out that Michael Jordan is 11 and 0 in championship games. This man has never lost a championship game from any level of basketball. Rather it was college, the Olympics, FIBA, NBA. He has never lost championship games. That strains his case even more. Now he's right there with those people who said Kareem won at every level in basketball, but just so did Michael Jordan, and he don't, he tops you he tops Kareem even more because he don't got no finals losses. Kareem do. I digress. What individual accolades LeBron got over Michael Jordan, and he's been playing twenty one years. He still don't got more MVPs. He don't got a defensive player of the year. He don't got 10 scoring titles. He don't got six finals MVPs. He don't got six NBA championships. He is literally done. He is done in the GOAT conversation. We done with LeBron James in the GOAT conversation. Because you don't deserve to be in it. You don't even stand, have a leg to stand on. So before you sit there and bring up them stupid ass highlights of a young Michael Jordan that's premature that didn't even hit his fucking prime yet, do the same thing. Keep that same energy for every other player that played basketball when they first came into the league with fucking flaws. Jordan's greatest moves that you watch highlights of came using his damn left hand going left. Here's another fun fact for you. Michael Jordan went left more times than he went right in his career. And I get that man six ch NBA championships. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. The up and under from the NBA Finals 1991 left hand. That move around Drazen um, Papovic. Up and under. Left hand. That infamous move when Jordan went baseline. Left hand. Michael Jordan shot layups with his left hand in the post. He got a better post-up game than LeBron James. Back to basket. He's a better scorer in every aspect than LeBron James. Miss me with the nonsense. And when we say Jordan's the greatest basketball player of all time, we're not saying that just as a catchphrase. It's 2024, and nobody has literally accomplished what that man did in any era of basketball. He's the most dominant basketball player in any era. Any era. Not talking, even if you want to go to 50s, 60s, 70s, Jordan did more with less than any player in NBA history. His best teammate was a guy in Scottie Pippen that's not even the top 20. Uh, greatest basketball player of all time. Not a top 25 greatest basketball player of all time. Not a top 30 basketball player of all time. He's not even the top 50 basketball player of all time now because he really got passed up. He's not even the greatest sidekick of all time. That's arguably Kobe Bryant. And he did it with a 3P. Sports out, man. There's levels to this. Peace.